Since communities belong to uh, different ethnic groups, and uh, particularly those who live abroad, I want to address you firstly in English language. Thereafter, I will talk to you in Sinhalese. The purpose of this uh, uh, organized meeting today is to discuss the serious issues, life-threatening issues faced by the fishing community in the Northern Territory. I have documents presented to me. Really, I don't know whether we have a, when you see these things, you feel whether we have a government in this country. I don't know whether you can get a close up the, of this picture. This demonstrates how the bottom trawling take part in our part of the sea. It shows, it shows, in fact it shows that there is no rule of law in this country. If we have a rule of law, Indian trawlers can't come and engage in fishing in our waters in this manner. It is a, a kind of a very serious situation, particularly we have a Navy, we have a um, fisheries minister and, uh, and other agencies. What they are doing, a series of complaints have been made to this organization. So far, nothing has been done. I have a particular letter issued by, addressed to the Navy and uh, by Department of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources, but the date of the letter is 31st of August 2022 to address this issue. What is the issue? Indian trawlers that enter our territory for fishing, the bottom trawling is a very dangerous thing which is prohibited anywhere in the world because it takes everything. And you see, seabed, even the sea grass, even the fishing, including the fishing nets, and, uh, and the seaweeds and everything what is, and including the, all varieties of fish, turtles, everything is rolled into this, uh, uh, I mean, these techniques. Finally, our area of the sea becomes, I mean, desert land. Something like, it has already caused this problem as caused to the India, but since we Sri Lanka depends heavily on India, Sri Lankan government is not in a position to take any action. This has been reported to the ministers and to the relevant departments and the ministries so far no action taken. And as a result, our fishing community face a very, very serious situation because they can't do any more fishing. Who is going to be blamed? Who is going to take charge? Who is going to take the responsibility? Nobody. Why? There is no rule of law in the country. There is no accountability whatsoever in this country. That is why we all face this situation. I can't believe. I visited certain parts of the Northern Territory today. Even the fishermen from the down south are allowed to come and do fishing here. How can that be happen here? Can you justify that? Now, Article 12 of the Constitution says everybody is equal before law and you have an equal protection before law. Is that the equality, equal treatment? Is that what you mean by the equal treatment? How come the government allow Indian trawlers to enter our territory and destroy our fishing land and just keep silent? This is why I say we have no government. We have a group of criminals, I use the word criminals, occupying office as members of parliament who do nothing. People who represent the people in North, they do nothing because they also expect India support because they are working for the federal state. So therefore, they don't want to cause any problem for the India, but they don't mind innocent fishermen suffering. So now you have listened to many talks. My, my responsibility today is to brief you as to what sort of actions and the, the answers to your question. One gentleman asked a question about the court case already initiated in the Court of Appeal. I am aware of it. There is a matter already initiated in the Court of Appeal, but still, still this matter has not been reported. Okay, this not, not been supported before the court. This is very sad. I remember one gentleman said, 
we have lost confidence in the judiciary because it's only time-consuming effort, which is true. I have to accept the fact, which is true. And if there is a strict enforcement of the rule of law, by now, this sort of a problem could have been over. If the government of Sri Lanka enforced the rule of law strictly according to the rule book, by now, this problem should have come to an end. That is why you are very concerned. That is why the other gentlemen are also very concerned, because they are, they are losing their livelihood. So, my answer to the first question, there is a matter pending court, in court, but that matter has not been, not supported yet. Our program, our purpose, my visit, the Vini Vida Foundation visit to you, to the, to the northern province, with the help of this Canadian community, they are all, remember, they are working for what? Justice and equality. Equality. That is what is lacking here. That is why these people are living abroad. There is no rule of law. That is why everybody is suffering in this country. Our purpose of this visit is to accumulate, collect all relevant data from you all, everything, and immediately, I promise you, I promise you within this month, within this month I will take it to Court of Appeal and ask for the immediate relief by way of uh, at least interim relief to ask the Navy to enforce the rule of law because you, we can't let government, uh, government uh, to run business in this manner. So, and uh, one gentleman, he discussed, I mean, he made a very, very powerful speech and he made his feelings, I mean, to you and he made it known to you. And he said how they suffer in the absence of as a government or agencies, I mean, we have a fisheries minister, he is doing nothing. We have a GA, we have a governor. We know what happened to Mrs. Charles, who was the governor in the northern province. She took an active role, she played an active role against this, but nothing happened. What happened at the end, she was taken out. She was taken out from the office of the governor of the northern province. This is the situation in this country. Unfortunately, most of the people in this country are unaware of it. Particularly the people in the down south, they are unaware of it. Even the people in the northern parts of the country are unaware of it. Because why? You are not fed with the right news. The, we have a lot of media agencies in this country. They never feed you with the right information. What they feed you with the wrong information, they are not interested about this information. That is the problem. We have to change this culture. We have, to, we have to put the country and the people on top. So therefore, we have to bring about a real change in this country. So my answer to the problem is, what we have to do right now, I understand the problem very clearly. We, you, you, I invite you all to visit Vinivida Foundation website. You can see 30, 40 cases that we have done for your behalf. Nothing for me, nothing for Nagalanda, nothing for Vinivida Foundation, for the benefit of the people of this country. I invite you. Litro gas case, then uh, 480 metric tons of, uh, I mean, adulterated palm oil case, then Maliban case, then BMW case, then the first right to information. There are a series of cases. Not for profit, but for, we have carried out all that for public good. So I believe this Canadian, our Sri Lankans also wanted to do the same for you. They are do, not doing it for any, anything else. Otherwise, they won't have, they won't invite Nagananda to come. They could have invited any other political party to come. They know other political parties will not deliver. They will not deliver. That's why they, they have decided to invite Nagananda. They know if Nagananda take over, of course he will deliver. So that is the answer to that question. So, my, uh, what we have to do right now, collect all relevant information. All these, uh, a number of gentlemen have, they have handed over their documentation to me. I will compile a document, I will compile a petition to the Court of Appeal and we will support the case with all this evidence. There is adequate evidence here presented to me which promote, which, which uh, prove, which convince that the government authorities in this country has let down the people in Jaffna, particularly in the fishing community, even the other areas are the same. So, I will do the needful. My invitation to you all is to collect all this information. You, have, you can have absolute trust and confidence in me. Okay? I am not a politician, remember. Nagarandi is only a freedom fighter. You can have absolute confidence and leave it with me. Get me all relevant inform information about this matter. I will deal with them appropriately. I don't care about any other government agency or even the government. 
Even the Indian government is responsible here, directly responsible. We can't let India just because in Sri Lanka has made a poor country by our rubbish politician. They have let us down. We have lost everything. Nobody recognizes Sri Lanka right now. That is why we are facing this country. We are facing this situation today. That doesn't mean India can behave in this manner. So my invitation to you, collect all the relevant information that you have. All photographic evidence, all video evidence, all other written evidence, everything you can present to me with confidence, I will do the needful for you with the shortest possible period of time. And in singular, Mama Megana Bada Katakarandona, me prashne me Sri Lanka vi janta me ka kisi ke ne dhanne ti prashne, me ka tamay Lanka vi deshi vichipa ho abe adde ka bandala me ka na magariya mangkolle, me prashne uthurve. Mereka memang apa itu hamat dam, memilih susu kelir, utur yang jemal memilih susu, tak punya tinggal memilih susu. Ekal sekarang kotak mana kerana kita memerlukan kita memerlukan kita punya. Ekal lah basic lah dah lah. Bukan katakan nama lah, katakan nama lah social integration. Ini mana tak? Jadi kita sangat hidup dia agaklah macam ni. Apa itu kerana memang tak memang itu tu kan hidup dia. Memerlukan kita jadi kita sangat hidup dia agaknya. Utur yang jangan tahu bengkel lah, tak punya jangan tahu bengkel lah. Rasa utur yang kat dia utur yang kat dia mangkol lagi no, tak punya kat dia rasa mangkol lagi no. Apa itu kau rupa? Rasa jangan tahu sampurna mana asalan ay. Mereka yang awak tahu, apa itu pahal deliver? Mama sahaja itu apa dia penuh. Utara menteri urus parlimen itu ada ni siar dah hak itu rancangan dia lagi na. Dia pada jenis rancangan yang kaya, betul ni ni jangan tahu lagi pasti kalau orang 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 sempurna itu pratiksha bukan. Apa yang ayat itu kata ni terus. Apa yang mohon siar dia nama thari pratiksha bukan itu. Mereka kisi kene. Dapun ini, wajah kena raja paksi, kau tu siri sena, mai tu pal, kau tu anu kumar, kau tu kau tu me 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 prema dasa me okkom. मैं किसी कहने को दुबारा आता नहीं अबे राती दिल्ली रखेंगे आपने मैं उपकार तो मानो नहीं कोई है हर में मांग को ले करने भी तराई अभी एक ही तो मेरा तो क्रमाय में नष्ट करूँ अन्य भी नहीं तो मैं वो बच्चा मगर नागारण देना की सिटी ने अभी मैं उपकार लेता है कुछ करूँ एक तो कल अभी अभी मेरे का ना फॉर्मिडेबल केस का गेम हो मामा मेरे का वाक्य की मैं बाहर गया ना ओबे बिन बिन मामा मेरे वाक्य की मैं बाहर आ रहा है ना क्वार्टर पर फिर लेके मैं पेटिशन ने मां ओबे टी क्यों आवा गे मैं माँ से ऐतुल लता मामे का अधिकार नहीं देना है ना मटो बिन सहायोगी आवश्य मंकी वो कोम इनफॉरमेशन ठीक मार्टर देन मुकद्दा आप इतने दिनों ओवरवेलमिंग एविडेंस कोचर कोचर पुरे थे वो मेकिंग विंडी ना था कोचर दी वो रे मेकिंग विंडी ना था ओवर थ्री हंड्रेड थाउजेंड व्हाट इज़ द लॉस ऑफ़ आई मीन रिसोर्सेस तू दिस कंट्री एन्युअली एन्युअल लॉस आई हैव डन द रिसर्च ऑन दि� more than one billion dollar bottom trolling business we have to stop it by hook or crook we have to stop it we have to intervene we have to we have to invite the judiciary to immediately intervene and do the needful get me this information for me my hand as i said there was another case along with that we will take both these matters api me dekha ma adhikar ne hamu ota gena hilla api waha ma me adhikar ne hamu me nadu deka khanda wala oba apeksha karna yuktiya अभी मैं क्या नहीं कहा मैं 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 खाती है कि वाचन ने मटर माता को ना हम भी तो ना बोला देखिए नहीं सामान आत्मता है सहायोगी सहायक एक तरह में क्या युक्ति और साधारण आते नैतिकता के निर्लाभित पालक ने मामा देखता है ना मित्र ने खाता है वो महात्मा इस चले बहुत वेदना भी खाता है एक बड़े दैनिक नोन एक नागान अंदर होंदर में दैनिक ना मगर वो नियोजन है करने समाज का श्रीलंका की प्रजा भी साथ सिंगल ही नहीं वो सिंगल अपने मुस्लिम ने आय देवल अपने वो समाज का श्रीलंकन कम्युनिटी का रसाकुर्ण अत्यल बेदगामु ओब विनुवेन नागानंद ओन कैपकिरी माखरंद इदिर पत्तन नोबियव निसकव बोमस्ती